Happiness. Uh, according to a uh, dictionary, happiness is a feeling of pleasure. Because someone has done something good to you, or you might feel satisfied with yourself, your life. And most of the people around the world, I believe, they tolerate happiness with these things. Money, of course. A lot of money can buy happiness. Right? Love, like Mr. Tom said, love can bring happiness and also can, you know, knock you down. <laughs> career, I'm sorry, career. The, the higher you climb, the higher, the more you believe that you can have happiness in your life, especially for those who are ambitious. And reputation. This part, I think, is for singers, for celebrities, not for us, but somehow it relates to us because we sometimes would like to want the other people recognize our presence. But, really things can bring the happiness, like this guy is smiling, or these two, or this girl, or this girl. Dear fellow Toastmasters and guests, I, I believe that now we have billion, seven billion people around the world and we only have one common thing, 24 hours a day. And I believe that most of us here are over 18, right? And we, <laughs> and we are working. At least we spend eight hours a day at the company. Or maybe 10, like me, or 12 if you are an entrepreneur. <laughs> or maybe over that 15, eight hours like my boss. And you spend the other eight hours to sleep, showers, and do the others, sensing things. <laughs> <laughs> so you spend two thirds of your life doing the things that you might don't want to do. I don't want to sleep, sure, because I don't have time to practice my Kung Fu. Mm -hmm. I don't want to eat. So I don't want to eat now because everything is smoking board. I don't want to work. <laughs> We're so tired. And we spend two thirds of our lifetime to do such things that we hate. And what about you other one third of our lifetime? What do we do? We use one third of our life for the rest of the things that we want to do. Travels, singing, love. All of these things, one third of our lifetime. Is it enough? I believe it's not. My martial art teacher, his father, he spent, I believe he spent two thirds of his time going back from the north to the south because he was a rival, a truck rider, earning money. And now he's over 65 years old and the bank account is full of money. A few months ago when I was in Japan, I got a news. His father, was found with a cancer. Mm. I don't know exactly what kind of cancer is that, but the doctors diagnosed that he got a cancer. And it has to be operated immediately. <coughs> so one night before the operation happened, his father called him. Hey son, hey son, this is my bank account and all of the details of course. Tomorrow, Take it, go to the bank, withdraw all, <coughs> it's all yours. <laughs> so if you are my teacher, you are his son, are you happy? I believe that it's about billions in, in that bank account, I believe. And I asked my teacher, well, is it ironic? He spent two thirds of his lifetime to earn money and now he's giving away, of course for his son. And I asked him, so what exactly in his mind at that time, I asked my teacher. He said, nothing. That was a wrong page. So why? The question is, are we doing the same thing like his father doing? 
تسعة ود دي The point is what we are trying to do these four things and the other things we're trying to get, we're trying to earn, we're trying to achieve but in the end we come back to the same place and happiness is hardly fine I believe however to me now I'm working as the other people do I spend 10 hours, 12 hours in the company I'm absolutely tired Unluckily, I signed a three years contract with the company. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what I have to do until, you know, yeah. in the next three years. <laughs> but sometimes I feel very happy. I don't know why. And I, all of the memories flash back. The happy moment is when I help the others. Newcomers from my company, I guide them to know how to work. I feel very happy. The newcomers